This is Doug Caldwell, University of Florida IFAS, Cuyahoga County Extension. It's early May and we're in front of an Exora hedge. Exora has been used commonly for decades in South Florida. Exora, when it's in a happy spot, will flower multiple times a year and when it's in full bloom, it is a head turner. It's also one of the plants we get the most questions on in our plant clinic. So let's look a little closer and get to the root of the matter. Hi, may I help you? Yes, I have a bucket full of problems here. So this is an Exora. Okay. And I've been applying fungicide to this fungal leaf disease on it. And it's not doing anything. You know, I even trimmed like all the bad stuff off and this is all I'm getting left. What do I do? Yeah. Well, the heart of the issue is that it is not a fungus. Oh no. This is a nutrient deficiency, specifically a macronutrient deficiency. So the obvious symptoms of concern are these purple reddish spots on the leaves, which do look much like a disease. But once that shows up, then the leaves will drop off and you have a thin, disfigured hedge. It's not a good visual screen anymore. And in fact, it's pretty ugly. When we look at the typical soil we have in South Florida urban situations, it's not really soil, it's more like moon dust. It consists of sand, shell, and capstone. It's very alkaline, it's very high pH. So you have to pick the right plant for the right place. Exora is not the right plant for those sort of conditions. But what's really happening here? Dr. Tim Broshop with the University of Florida has shown that the spotting is due to a macronutrient deficiency. That's phosphorus and potassium in this case. And macronutrient means that the plant requires larger quantities than say the micronutrient elements such as iron and manganese. The phosphorus and potassium, the macronutrient deficiencies, show up on the older leaves as that purple spotting. Later on in the year, because of the alkaline, high pH soil, we'll see a yellowing of the new growth due to iron and manganese deficiency. What to do if you find your poor exora is stuck in an alkaline situation? There's two approaches. One is shift the pH by adding coffee grounds, pine straw, cottonseed meal, sulfur. You need to do this several times a year. This is a slow process, but you can improve the root zone pH. Second approach, address your fertilizer treatments. You need to add more phosphorus and potassium later in the growing season, but read the fertilizer label carefully. Make sure you check your local ordinances for the different types, amounts, and timings on your fertilizer applications. This is Dr. Doug Bug helping you beautify your landscape and protect the environment.